welcome to the News X Sunday Guardian Round Table. Well, we do have the Round Table with us, but this is a very unusual edition of Round Table because I have two guests, two very articulate speakers, who are going to be taking each other on. This is actually a face-off between Dr. Subramaniam Swami from the BJP and former High Court Judge and National Conference Leader Hasnain Masoodi. As we can see, we are going to be debating Kashmir, Triple Talaq, and a whole lot of other issues. I'll begin with you, sir, since uh, I think you have a lot of grievances against the BJP government as represented <laughs> by Dr. Swami. Uh, Not against him. Not against him, Pastor Lekha. Let's <laughs> He's very smart. He's plugging the loopholes. Uh, he's a judge, no? He's a judge. <laughs> so against the government and not Dr. Swami personally, what are they planning to do on Kashmir and what, is, what are you fearful of? I do, I, I'm afraid they, even, they don't know what they are doing about Kashmir. You know, of late, what has, what has been done is that they make calculated, I mean, leakage, I don't know, whoever, hmm. about the steps they plan to take in the near future. See deployment, extra, uh, I mean, uh, SF security force deployment to Kashmir, maybe around 100,000 or whatever. Then uh, advisory that he store ration for four months, dry ration, mm. and then uh, store drinking water for 15 days and all the stuff, and then go map mosques and all that, who are the, who, I mean, clergy and all. I mean, see, they, uh, it, it leaves one surprised just a few days back. Everybody was celebrating that the Home Minister has gone to, went to Srinagar. He had a very successful visit. There was no hartal, there was no strike and all that. And he came back a happy man and everybody around him, were, everybody was happy. But all of a sudden they say, you know, one day they say that no, everything's okay. Just few boys now left. Other day they say, do all this. Normally, Priya, what would happen? Normally after Amarnath Yatra, there would be de-induction. Hmm. security forces would come back yeah. because it was done and see to, this year it was very successful incident free not a small incident 400,000 are expected to visit uh, for you, who do you give the credit for the incident free yatra to the government no, no every yes yes why should not we give that hmm. I mean everyone to people I mean see right from Palkiwala to Paniwala to Waterman is Muslim Kashmiri Muslim who is facilitating yatra hmm. So now they come up with this, and this has sent panic across the state. This Kashmir. See what is going to happen. People make, they have left people guessing. Mm. And everybody says that people are kind of, they feel harassed. So this is not, ex this was not expected. No more guessing. We have someone who will give us some of the answers. <laughs> what are you trying to do in Kashmir? Well, I can tell you what the uh, explanation given to me is mm -hmm. officially, I mean, from the official sources. And then I will make some comments about uh, this panic uh, issue. Right. See, first of all, I've been told that we have very, very solid information that on Independence Day, mm. there will be a major attack. And we don't want a Pulwana type of system where we didn't even the roadblocks we removed, you see. Mm. It became so complacent. So, um, uh, Mr. Amit Shah, certainly in this early term, part of the term, is not going to take a chance. Mm. So, this is gone for that, number one. Number two, of the 10,000, many of them are probably 4,000 of them are replacement for those who uh, participate in the elections and now, you know, have overworked. Mm. So, they have to be sent back. So, this is the explanation given. In my opinion, any part of India which is considered disturbed, the central government has a right to send 100,000 troops also. I don't see why they should be afraid mm. because I don't think the army is going to shoot at people who are well established in society as people who are not for secession of uh, Kashmir. And uh, the uh, Armed Forces Special Powers Act also gives a certain amount of powers. So. I think uh, taking this due precaution and uh, making sure that uh, nothing happens on Independence Day, uh, this kind of 10,000 soldiers is not a big deal. And uh, I think uh, this is being unnecessarily fixed with the, some other developments. For example, if Article 35A is to be yes, the removed, hot potato. Hmm. or 370 has to be scrapped. 370, we don't have to go to Kashmir. Uh, to uh, to overawe the public, we can do it through the president here. So uh, there's president's rule, so the entire responsibility of the center. So I think there's unnecessary panic on what we are doing it by way of abundant precaution 
and if necessary, uh, over up, up, uh, uh, you know, provide for a situation that might develop. No, I mean, Masoodi, yeah, yeah, no. no. So see, it is quite, I mean, quite clear. Uh, the problem is that nobody comes with a convincing, you know, something mm -hmm. convincing to public that yeah. the way um, Swami says that. No, this, this, this is the background and this is why we are doing it. No problem. Mm. If this is, it is only to take care of 15th August, I mean, it's Independence Day, no matter But why should you do it and why should they leak it? You know, these are something which are within. Why should say, and now they come up with the explanation. First explanation is that no, it is all fake on social media. Then they shift the officer who did it, who's author. If it was, it was not correct, if whatever was coming on social media, the orders were fake, mm. forged, then what is the point in shifting the officer? Now he's being taken to task that why did you do all this? But I think that there is some problem within the security grid. Mm. Because these orders come on social media, the order to store 15 days drinking water, store for four months ration. Yeah. So this is That's likely to, in, every, in any society this will create panic. But no, we take that, Mr. Swami represents the government as a government and spokesperson. He has very good within he has the government. As a government spokesperson, <laughs> he says that nothing to worry. No, don't worry about 35A. Don't worry about 37. Oh, because of this. Because of this. No, he's no, got no, a, his own no, report. No, 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 he <laughs> says this has nothing to do with that. Yes. At least we extract that kind of a statement from him. And I think this is going to be a big relief to people no. there. Down, on, you on see, down. the question is. Um, the Persians uh, used to say that the Kashmiris are great ones at uh, spreading rumors and being victims of rumors. You know that. <laughs> but he's blaming you for spreading the rumors. Yes, I know that. I mean, who else? <laughs> they sack the officer, they shift him, they do it. So no, then there's no, the rumor, and why doesn't it come into the No, there was no rumor spread officially. You know, I, I listen. No, I, it was railway. Re 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 control. Re re I mean, they said officially that we have shifted. See, there is some. there are some cracks within their own. System. For some reason, either they are doing it or someone is playing the mischief. Hmm. Because why should forces official communications come on social media? I and what well, that, See, that, that is a thing that I didn't know, but I will find out what they've done about these people. But that, uh, let me tell you, though, I don't want you to be in under any illusion that we are not going to remove 370. <laughs> no, I am yes. See, that is a different subject. It is the subject. But that of is also another subject No, no, they about. cannot do it. And he they said they don't even need the Constitutional Assembly. He's no. in yes. presidential no, order. Ma'am, they cannot. They will not do it. They cannot do it. And it is just, you know, they have been uh, telling us about it for the last 70 years. But a lot that was said 70 about 70 years, years, years no. is being done. <laughs> uh, in the last five, seven years, I think a lot of I, things have been done. I am saying this. I was told that you will never get uh, triple talaq through uh, Rajya Sabha. Oh, the hell of triple talaq is still there. Swami, that's not an achievement. But no, I was told that, that it was... You know, like, uh, see, Muslim women are worse off after that triple talaq. Well, there is a difference. That, that is your I, interpretation. That, that, uh, I am on a small point. Yeah. Mm that I was told that we will never be able to get the thing to Rajya Sabha as long as you don't have majority. It has been done. <laughs> and I've shown it to you. And the kind of absenteeism, <laughs> including your party. No, no. Uh, PDP. P uh, ah. PDP. 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 They facilitated your job. Yes, they, they did. They, they have still had the hangover of the alliance. Yeah, they, they voted in favor of RTI as well, amendment. Yeah. I, right. I believe they voted in favor. They, they are with you. Uh -huh. You know, I mean. So, I mean, I. I Continue I mean, to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the power of. Uh, <laughs> the one DMK also absent. Mm. Okay. And then uh, Maya, these people. National conference mm. also. I mean, uh. sorry, NCP. Uh, out, NCP, not, both. Yeah. Uh, Pawar and uh, Praful. Uh, uh, no, no, perhaps. So, you see, sir, so I am only saying this that according to my understanding, I may be wrong, mm. that if we remove 370, first let's uh, uh, leave the legal part. Okay. I'll come to that. Mm. I mean, he, he's a. Uh, Which is he's a uh, two legal people on this panel. How can jurist. we not debate the legal uh, part? <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got used to arguing against judges, so... Ah. <laughs> so you should feel at home, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that the if our assessment, I'm telling you, mm. internal assessment, we may, could be wrong, ah. that if we remove 370 and 35A, there will be no upheaval in Kashmir. Would you buy that? Forget oh, the no, legal oh, part. Oh, oh, Supposing no, legal, no, see, I, see, legal part is that they cannot do it. No, but I mean, is the, the practical part is that, that it will be politically unwise. It will be a disaster. See, 
they will push things back to, I mean, uh, I, I can't say to what extent. 335. You know, and he says, uh, no upheaval, it will be, see, kind of, it is a kind of, a, kind of, I mean, you cannot, you cannot even imagine that, what kind of upheaval. Let, let me interrupt you. 370 only prevents people from the rest of India to go to Kashmir? It doesn't. Well, I mean, in the sense of buying land. No, and, no, that is 35. And establishing, 35. becoming a resident of the state. 500,000 residents of Kashmir were driven out of, uh, of of Kashmir. Isn't that a violation of 370? No, not driven out. See, it what was. It is not only they. It is not 500,000. First, I will, I will, I will. All right, just 100,000 X. But it is not only. See, it is only not only Kashmiri Pandits. Kashmiri Muslims. You know how many Muslims? Maybe 100,000. They are. They are out of. Or 50,000. They are out of Kashmir. But see, they are coming here see, for education. No, no, they are not no, being no, no, out. no, no. It was no. It was because of 90s. Whatever was the 90s, they went. See, let us not go into the reasons they migrated. But, but they, are, they, but they are ready to come. I, they meet me day in and day out. X number. And they want to live with Muslims. They don't want to live in any, any kind of a separate, separate. No, 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 I am not. But then in removal favor. of you're not in favor. I'm not in favor of all this Panmun Kashmir business. No, okay. no. Uh, then you have to forever look. Yeah, huh. We are no, not. No, they. We are not doing it now. Hmm because of the fact that once they go, we have to defend them. Hmm. And we can't defend them by putting them into another prison, you see. Right. Uh, nope. So we want to create a climate where the Kashmiri Pandits can go back, get back to their houses, and live within, within the rest of Kashmir. Yeah, why so, can find them to no, colonies no, only? No, no, yeah, right or now, camps. see, they, they regularly visit but, and sit for a while. But, uh, I was just five but days... But they can't own land no, or no, do business no, or do no, work? No, why not? See, I, I told you last time also, hmm. they control business right now, on date. See, Mr. Vijaydar runs the biggest school. Mr. Professor Vishen uh, runs a, a chain of colleges in Srinagar. Mr. Bindru and Mr. Dar are the best known pharmacists. Yeah, yeah but, pharmacies. That, that, but that's nothing compared you know, to you know, how many you know, they are. We, we have, yeah. we have 20, and Mr. Tata can't set up no, a factory no, no, there. No, no, or no, that, because no, that is no, that is See, that, that is no, also part no, of the problem. No, we have land. Not no, even a Hindu no, we have land. <laughs> no, we have land grants. No, see, huh. we have a bill wire under wire industry, to industrialists, industrial estates. We can give them. I mean, and we have industries in see uh, in uh, Kashmir as well as in Jammu. Hmm. But see, the fact is that. Everybody says, hey, you cannot buy land. You cannot buy land in Himachal. Can you buy? They say, hey, even President of India, Dr. Swami, cannot buy land in Srinagar. Can he buy in Himachal? Can he buy in North? North okay. No. As long as it's not no. for uh, uh, so land. No, no, can no, he buy? No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's no. true. Priyanka has bought land in, uh, <laughs> in uh, Himachal. I don't know if it's between you and Priyanka. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, that he's bought land. See. Let's give you an example. The only forest land you cannot uh, see. Alienate. I mean, see, mm. almost whole are Himachal's forest land. For the, for no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, see, no. I can see, buy in Simla. See. Huh. You let me buy in Srinagar. See. Yeah? see. <laughs> 35A per se is not discriminatory. You know, 35A, what does it say? 35, huh. 30, no, 35A, it says that the laws that are made by state legislature in favor of the state subjects hmm. in the matters of land, holding land and employment, those will be protected. If a woman if, marries no, out... But that is not 35A. She is not allowed. No, no, no she's allowed, she's allowed. She, see, sir. No, no, she's allowed. If a woman marries outside, she is allowed. If okay. she has a, if she has a child from outside, the bar restricts only that because there was a judgment. You know, division by judgment. That is certain so different by judgment said they, they can hold. But see, 35A on the face of it per se is not discriminatory. It's nothing to do with discrimination. The laws that it protects. But why but do you we hold can, it so dear then? If it's uh... see, no, no. See, what does 35A say? Hmm. It protects the laws that may be made by the state legislature in favor of the state subjects in matters of scholarship, employment, and uh, land. Now, if there is any discrimination, any law, hmm. we can make it. We can change it in legislature. Don't touch 35A. Why should you, why should you bother about 35A? Oh, they're going so, after the uh, no, no, mother no. of umbrella. See, they're going no. after 30, yeah, 70. No, 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 no. See, 35A hmm. was, it was a promise, it was a pledge, it was ratified by the by parliament. Hmm. See, it is followed of Delhi agreement. 35A is not no, no. ratified by no, parliament. Sir, 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 sir. It's only between no, no, two no. Kashmiris, no, sir, sir, one uh, no. Jawaharlal Nehru no, and no, no, uh, no, the no, Sheikh no, Abdullah, sir. 1952. Sir, you know, sir, you know well. There was Delhi Agreement. Delhi, 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 Delhi Agreement. Delhi, Delhi Agreement was introduced by Prime Minister Nehru in Parliament. No, he there made was a, a statement. There, no, no, there was a no big Parliament discussion. Vote. He had tough time. He had mm. tough time of in Parliament. Had a tough time. Then it was, well, it was no approved. Vote. See, it was approved by the Parliament. No. It was like no, no. Yes. the presidential order. Right, no, 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 no. See, it's a question see, of fact. See, 
please, one of the components of Delhi Agreement is that you accept citizenship law, part two, because hmm. part two was not applicable to prepare to Delhi Agreement. Hmm. We were not citizens of India. Hmm. Kashmiris were not citizens. We were controlled in matters of citizenship by city subject law. We conceded that territory. We said we, we agreed to become citizen of India. A part two was made applicable, and they in return said that you retain your state subject law. Then it was only after Delhi Agreement that part two applied. It was only after Delhi Agreement these these amendments there were there. There is no we, we in this matter. No, I mean Kashmir. I am please no, no, no even no. Kashmir. Uh, mm. so I am telling you, 1935 Constitution, which the British had set up, mm. had a provision that if any of the um, uh, 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 princely states mm. wanted to join British India because mm. there were uh, British India and there was princely mm. India. Mm. Princely India was indirectly ruled. Mm. So if there any of the princes wanted to uh, join British India, mm. then uh, they will have to sign an instrument of accession. And there is a straight statement there that the king need not, king or queen or whatever, the princely, uh, the, the uh, royal head huh. does not have to take the opinion of the citizens of his uh, kingdom. And once he signs, it is unilateral. It cannot be reviewed. Mm. It's a complete merger. Now, that's exactly what the king signed of Kashmir. He added some uh, annexes <laughs> to, to please no. Mountbatten. Mm. Uh, but that has no legal sanctity. That, that has see, no that legal sanctity. Not... So the merger, you please listen. No, no, no. So, yes, uh, I know you no. won't agree. Uh, uh, the, uh, well, the merger was unilateral and irrevocable, mm. irreversible. So Kashmir is a part of India. That is part. Now, then what happened? Mm. Uh, Farooq Abdullah, Sheikh Abdullah was sent by Modi to, uh, excuse me, by <laughs> Nehru. <laughs> it's almost, he's becoming like one. Uh, he was sent by uh, Nehru, Nehru to meet Sardar Patel mm. and Ambedkar. Mm. So uh, Farooq Abdul, uh, Sheikh Abdullah went to uh, Ambedkar and Ambedkar said, I introduced 370 mm. nonsense. I am not a traitor. And he said, I refuse to do it. So they had to find somebody else. See. And they found no. Ananta uh, Gopal Sami Ayengar. There was an uproar in that constituent assembly. Nothing. Because all the rajas said, why not us? Ah. Why, why only this? So, 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 so therefore it was explained by Sardar Patel that this is a temporary provision because he's gone to the UN. It will be over in a, in a couple of weeks. After that we left and this will not require parliament vote. It can be dismissed, uh, I mean de deleted by the president by notification. And that's what it says in the constitution. I think I read it out in one of your earlier uh, shows also. Shows I'm going to take a break. I know uh, that no, there no, is yes. a whole lot of no, rebuttal yeah. coming from this side. After all, I this is what happens when you have two legal brains on the same yeah, table. Yeah, I won't interrupt you. So, you stay with us. This is getting very interesting. <laughs> Welcome back to the round table on the Kashmir issue. Before the break, Dr. Swami raised a lot of issues. I could see you shaking your head, especially when he said 370 is temporary. I think you would disagree. See, see ma'am. We were not governed by 1935 Act. We, our own constitution, 1939 constitution, hmm. made by Maharaja, governed till new constitution came into force. We had to amend in wake of Delhi Agreement, we had to amend that constitution and introduce Sadri Riyasat in place of Maharaja. Just this, this, this history. Jammu and Kashmir was an independent for all in purposes, intents purposes, independent. We were governed by 1939 Constitution Act, hmm. which was made by Maharaja. That continued to govern us, not withstanding 1950 Constitution, 1950 Constitution, till we made our own Constitution. See, Delhi Agreement, see, 37 is, was the only provision of Indian Constitution that applied to Jammu and Kashmir by its own force and Article 1. See, 37 then paved way for, it left, made room for introduction of other provisions. Hmm. Delhi, till it was, these were only two provisions. Till 1952, even part two of the constitution was not applicable. We were not citizens of India. Hmm. See, we go, continue to be governed by state subject law. 
Then in 1952, an agreement was made. It was not a kind of a bedroom or drawing room agreement. It was an agreement by two governments, Rajan Council with ministers and Lieutenant Governor Council. See, this was Delhi agreement. Then it was introduced, since it had a lot many implications, it was mm. introduced by Pandit um, Maharaja uh, Pandit, Pandit Nehru in Indian Parliament. There was a, he had a tough time. There was a big discussion, long discussion, and ultimately on 5th August 1952, Parliament of India, approved it, ratified it, and one of the components was that we have a right to retain our state subject law. This was agreed. And we gave, what we conceded, we, I mean, government of Jammu and Kashmir, we conceded that we will now henceforth be citizens of India. Part two will now. Hmm. They, they promised that you will have your own flag. They promised that you will have your own constitution. This is an agreement that is legal sanctity. It is like our treaty. But, and this 35A was but obligation. It was its fallout of that agreement. Right. See, why did, why did President, you don't blame your president, president Dr. Rajendra Prashad, that he did some, it was some, any kind of mischief. Why did he do it? It was on the advice of the cabinet center He's government. Bound by it. So no, no, he made 35A because it was a treaty obligation kind of nature of. It, it was, was, not, under, it, it was it, not a parliamentary amendment. No, no, it was a bit it's of... not even no, no, listed in parliament, no, no, see, uh, in the constitution. No, no, that, that is okay. It's but but, but you know, why, why was it made? Because parliament has already approved this component of the Delhi agreement that gave this 35, whatever 35A gives, that gives, that gave us 35A. Mm. Whatever is substance of 35A, that was approved by parliament on 5th August 1952. It was only a, now a technical, it was a consequence of, legal consequence of that. And we, we amended our core constitution in 1939. Hmm. There was, see, repository okay. of all powers was Maharaja. Hmm. In 39, the, he continued to be a repository of all powers. Then we had to change it with Sadri Asad, because Delhi agreement said that, look here, we, we, you will not no more have any Maharaja. Yes. It will be Sadri Asad, president of the state, and you make changes in your own constitution, that is 1939 constitution. Hmm. We made, we amended our constitution, they made changes in their constitution. Okay. It was to fulfill the obligations under the Delhi Agreement. That was ratified by both the legislatures. So, See, so if, uh, uh, one, many of these things have to be subject to fact check later on. Okay. We can, uh, that no. passing Next, of parliament, so, for mm, example, mm. that was adopted by parliament. Yes, 5th August. It was 5th. presented to parliament, debate took place, that's all. No, no, 5th August. Uh, there was no resolution, no, we are, we are, no vote, nothing. Next no, no. Right, anyway, we are, we are, we are. The next debate, no, next debate with the next constitution. Debate, I'll come. Yeah. Last time I came with the constitution, no, sir, because we'll, I thought he would deny it. He denied it, then I read it. No. <laughs> we, we do it in central. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we so, have it on my show. Yeah. I, I want to say one thing. Mm. Uh, the instrument as action as uh, uh, accession signed uh, was the same instrument in wording as all the other for 500 uh, With other princes, states. Uh, huh, princely okay. states did. Okay. Mm. The only new thing in this was that he put an annexure, which uh, in my opinion was done uh, by Mr. Mountbatten, mm. uh, but uh, it only talked about uh, various things. But legally. We, I recognize only that which was part of 1935 agreement. It may not, uh, 35 or constitution, it, he may not be saying that I have, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm under that. He was not under that. It was British India and they wanted to come into British India. Uh, that was when they uh, created this instrument. Then the House of Commons debated the Indian Independence Act and passed it on 17th July. 1947, hmm. where they said that in, as far as the princely states are concerned, we are declaring them as sovereigns. However, if they want to join India or Pakistan, they can invoke uh, this article uh, of the this uh, instrument of accession, which is part of the Constitution of 1935. It's there in the House of Commons debate. Next time when you hold it, I'll bring wow. that also hmm. and place it here. Now, let all that be. Ah. The new point is, that there was a Jammu Kashmir Constituent Assembly, mm. which concluded in uh, 1956 and 57. You adopted that our Jammu own, Kashmir. Our own constitution. Yeah, that's Tell it. me one article of that which refers to Article 370. What? But see, our constitution's creation of that. This Constituent Assembly. See, where from do we have to get our Constituent Assembly? Because 370 says that there will be a Constituent Assembly. No. 
Yes, it says that it can it, recommend. It, it, uh -huh. Sir, sir, sorry, sir, sir. It, it, it does. No, no, it, it, anyway, it, it, now it, I didn't it, bring the constitution. But the constitution yeah. assembly, anyway, sir. when is the constitution assembly happening? When are the elections the happening? The constitution assembly is over. No. no. Sorry, I'm the legislative see. assembly, yeah. Sorry. No, it is now legislative. legislative of, see, of, of, of Jammu Kashmir. See, yeah. uh, Priya. Go to the go to the Constituent Assembly discussions. Nobody opposed 370 except Mahat, Mahavir Tyagi and our Hasat Mohani. Sorry, everybody wrong, was wrong. for it. It was concern. It was a see. It was all the princely states no, 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 representatives. No, no, no. They only, all objected. No, no, only Hasat Mohani. He said that no. Nobody objected. He said Hasat Mohani said well, that no. Anyway. Why yeah. don't you give it's to Bharat? Why don't you sir? go? Yeah. We will get it here. Yeah. yeah. Second Next is that, second is that see. On 25th November 1949, hmm. all the Raj Pramukhs ratified the Indian Constitution except our Yuraj, except Maharaj. He didn't. Okay. See, see coming to the uh, present. No, no. See, present is that 370 is a self contained provision. It, 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 it is it not tell, a temporary. Yeah, not no, temporary. it tells us about its birth as well as how it can be changed. It gives us it is self contained. It, 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 it can be changed no, if the legislative uh, never, assembly. On a simple point. Now what? How can if, it be if 370 was an integral part of our constitution, hmm. then its removal or deletion must follow the constitutional principle of two-thirds majority of both houses yes. and the assembly yes. uh, concurrence. That's what I say. Uh, hmm. But it's not there. No, no, ma'am, see. See, 370 is a self-content. It so tells us how, that, where, that, from it was born and how it can end or how it can be we modified. Have that it, is, it, it doesn't see. <laughs> Our 368 does okay. not apply to 370. Hmm. It says that it can end only if it is recommended by Constituent Assembly, and Constituent Assembly in its wisdom did not. Push. Now, second, okay. please, please go to go to the see. Please go to speech of Swami. Please go to uh, Mr. Anger. Yeah, Gopal Swami. Go, Gopal Swami Anger. Hmm. He, he gave six reasons why we make this 370. Okay, but go to those 370. Go to those, those reasons. Mr. Okay. Swami will avoid that. He will not go to those reasons. No, no, he is. Uh, one one he's, of the reasons was that we are before United Nations. And he was asked by Hasad Mohani, why 370? Why should you have a special status for three? He then gave, spelled out. He gave six reasons that we were. Why but one is a temporary to... clause. No, it was not temporary. See, okay. how can it be temporary? It's written okay. there. No, no, it, the is, see, is, it, written. Is, it is in temporary in a particular background. Oh. And, so, and <laughs> okay. go, on that uh, note, uh, Iyengar uh, said, and uh, uh, said, look uh, here, I don't, we don't, unless we settle the Kashmir problem, this is to, to be there. Okay, so that is the let us have, let us have text. So that is a subtext and context. Uh. But uh, uh, I don't know what the Constituent Assembly recommended. My producer is recommending that time is up, so we have to wind <laughs> up. Uh, but we'll see you again, same thank time you, next yes, week. Thank you,